Welcome back. The Gary Sinise Foundation, we hear about the Gary Sinise Foundation, but it has a lot of aspects to it, doesn't it? What is the Gary Sinise Foundation? Well, as I said, there, there were a series of steps that led to the creation of the foundation. There's military in my family. On my side of the family, I've got, uh, I mean, my grandfather served in World War I 100 years ago in France during the Battle of the Argonne. Uh, then uh, he had three sons, uh, two of my dad's older brothers, both served in World War II. One was a navigator on a B-17 bomber over Europe. The other was on a ship in the Pacific during World War II. My dad served in the Navy. Then I met my wife, married her. Her two brothers served in Vietnam. Her sister was in the, in the Army. Her sister married a Vietnam veteran who was a combat medic in the Army. They had a son who was uh, served uh, two deployments in Afghanistan, so lots of veterans around me. That's where the veteran work began. Then I got involved with Vietnam veterans and supporting them in the 80s, played the guy in the 90s. Uh, after September 11th, though, you know, those seeds had been planted for supporting the men and women deploying to Iraq and Afghanistan, so I just raised my hand went out for the USO, started doing that kind of thing. Then I just started reaching out to military charities all over the place and, and uh, you know, trying to raise money for them in different ways, play concerts with my band, raise awareness by doing PSAs, whatever I could do to raise money and awareness for these other organizations so that they could help more of our troops, I was trying to do. And all that manifested itself into the eventual creation of my own foundation having been involved in so many different things, Gold Star Family Initiatives, uh, s supporting our wounded, resiliency events, entertainment through the USO, all these different things. I wanted the foundation to kind of reflect all that history. So we have several programs at my foundation that cover a lot of different territory. As I mentioned, Snowball Express, which is focused on our Gold Star families, the families of our fallen and trying to help them through their grief. Uh, then we have a uh, program called RISE, Restoring Independence, Supporting Empowerment. That is all about providing special smart technology housing for very, very badly wounded service members. I understand you, you met uh, Travis Mills. Travis is an ambassador for my foundation. Uh, quadruple amputee, we built a house for him in Maine. He's a resilient guy among many extraordinary people that I've met. We've done uh, between 60 and 70 houses already from the beginning of when I started doing it to now. We have uh, supportive programs called Serving Heroes which send messages out uh, to USOs and VAs all over the country by providing food and uh, entertainment for the veterans that are either coming through a travel hub or maybe living at a VA or something like that. We don't want them to be forgotten. That's the important thing. I always remember that great quote by Calvin Coolidge, the nation which forgets its defenders will itself be forgotten. We do not want to ever forget our defenders. And what, that's one of the things I learned from my Vietnam experience, working with Vietnam veterans all those years ago. We did forget our defenders at that time and it weakened our nation. It was a shameful period in our history and we can never let that happen again. How do you raise money for this foundation? Well, I do a lot of uh, different fundraisers. We have, we have, we went from one donor <laughs> in the beginning uh, to over forty thousand donors now. Uh, we are uh, approaching our uh, the beginning of our eighth year on June thirtieth uh, coming up. That'll be uh, our eighth year anniversary. Uh, so it's a fairly young foundation, but we've grown significantly, and we have a lot of programs. I am very uh, boots on the ground, participating daily in what the, the foundation does. We've gone from a couple of people in the beginning, my executive director and me, uh, to about almost 30 people that work for the foundation to help support our fundraising, our events activities, uh, our awareness raising campaigns, all the different things that we're trying to do to keep people focused on these freedom providers. We can never uh, take for granted what they do for us. And you give concerts now and then, your band, is that correct? Well, my band is something, you know, I, I started doing USO tours. I would just go overseas and shake hands and take pictures and just sit down with the troops like this and have lunch with them. And, and I just wanted them to know that somebody f from the entertainment business, uh, you know, who they saw on television or, or movies, 
was thinking about them and came over there in, uh, to say thanks and to, to make sure that they were, you know, felt appreciated and, su and supported. And then I got the USO to let me take uh, some musicians on a tour. And I played music as a kid and picked it up again in the late 90s. Then after September 11th, I had some mus musicians I played with. I rem the reason I call it the Lieutenant Dan Band is because in the beginning, nobody really knew who Gary Sinise was. And they, they all knew Lieutenant Dan, so I just called the band Lieutenant Dan Band. And when I started my foundation, uh, I, you know, I used to find, I used to fund the band myself or ask friends to give me money so I could go on a USO tour or whatever, because I pay the band, you know, to, this is my mission, I do it for free, I, I have to take care of my band members. When I started my foundation, we folded the Gary, uh, Gary Sinise and the Lieutenant Dan Band into the foundation as a program. So much like the USO, when you donate it to the USO, the USO takes that money and they provide entertainment to our troops all around the world and everything like that. It's the same thing with the Gary Sinise Foundation and the Lieutenant Dan Band. You, you so if donate somebody, to the Gary Sinise Foundation. Well, let me ask you about that. So if people want to support the Gary Sinise Foundation, where do they go? Well, you go to GarySiniseFoundation.org. Dot org. Yeah, that's our, that's our foundation website. And you can look at the program page and see the programs. You can go to the YouTube channel and see dozens of great videos on there that will show you what we're doing all around the country. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, but one of the reasons I created the foundation is because I'm only one guy and I can only be so many, so many places and I wanted to ramp up my activities. I wanted, even if I couldn't be there physically to right. support, we're doing events. It's the Gary Sinise Foundation. They know they're getting a message from me that we care about them and, and appreciate them, and we're sending our support their way. And we do that mm -hmm. through the generosity of the American people that support us because they want to help our troops. And I hope this audience will do exactly that.